Hi hey everybody out there, my name is Joel McLaughlin from dataflurry.com and we're coming to you guys with the top 10 tips to top Google. What I want to do is create a short series. Uh, this first video is just going to be an overview of uh, what we recommend and uh, it's going to give you some good ideas and some good things to implement to improve the quality of your site, gain more links and uh, what to look for when uh, when trying to grab those top rankings and hopefully we can fill some voids that you guys have been looking for that haven't been able to grab those top rankings you desire. Uh, we're going to jump right into this. Um, what we do, we're just basically a marketing, uh, search engine marketing, SEM, and uh, website design and e-commerce company. Uh, our website routes are pretty new right now but we're, uh, we're trying to build quick and uh, excited to talk to you guys and and help you out if we can. First and uh, foremost, what we consider the top things to top Google, uh, something that Google pays a lot of attention to right now is link popularity. Um, what What's needed when, um, when building a website to get into the Google rankings? So you need a lot of links to your site. Ultimately, you could have the best site without any links and uh, the best optimized site and it's not going to really go anywhere because they need to see that other sites consider you relevant uh, you want to get a lot of links to your site but not only a lot of links you want to get good quality links um, you can find out how many links are pointing to your site we actually use Yahoo to do this search um, you may think this is weird but the reason behind it is Google only gives you a little uh, a little list of the links pointing to your site so let's do links and then dataflurry.com I don't put the www in there because some links may be pointing just to dataflurry.com without the top level, the www. So um, let's click on one of these. This is a site that um, that we had actually built, but we have links back to our site. So there should be links on all of our pages. And um, what we did is we created links at the bottom of these pages with good anchor text, cheap web design, cheap web development, cheap e-commerce. And um, so from any page within this site we we put those links pointing back to our home page. Uh, next what we're going to look at is utilizing keywords and creating good meta tags and title tags. Your meta tag is more or less the the two main points of focus and that is your descriptions and keywords tag and then also a big deal is your title tag this title tag has a lot of relevance and you need to put a lot of thought into your title tag because it determines what the search engines think your site is about um, you will see here when we view our page source for our website here's the title tag here's the descriptions tag and here's the keywords tag. You want to keep everything extremely relevant to what's going on with your website. You don't want to try to trick or fool the search engines. Search engines are smart and all they're looking for is good quality content and uh, they want your site to actually provide something to the user. We created a lot of sub pages um, but within all these sub pages we put quality content. Um, so that's that's a main point of focus. You don't want to put a lot of duplicate content on your site, that sort of thing. Just keep it uh, keep it useful to your users a lot of people try so hard and spend so much time trying to trick the search engines when they could just build some quality stuff and they'd get the visits they want second time your site's been indexed this is um, this is a debated thing there's something called sandboxing that's oftentimes it oftentimes occurs with like Google and, and some of the top search engines I've noticed what's helped me um, to get around this with brand new websites that haven't been online for a while um, we just created a 01 search rankings about two weeks ago and it comes up number one under like top search rankings obtain top search rankings and um, what we noticed helped with this site was promoting some of the sub pages getting links to some of the sub pages it really gave us a big boost to get around some of the sandboxing problems next is anchor text of inbound links Anchor text is the wording within the link pointing to your site. So, like I'd showed you a little bit earlier uh, on the site we were on, let me take a look here. 
this is the anchor text. First link is cheap web design. That's anchor text. Cheap web development. That's anchor text. Cheap e-commerce. Anchor text. You want to have um, you want to put your main key terms into links pointing to your site, and you want to switch it up. You don't want to always have the same thing. You want to do things you know as as well hidden from the search engine so that you don't look like you're just Joe Schmo putting the same link out to every website on the internet. Keep switching it up. Now, link popularity of subpages. I already touched on that short for a short uh, time there. You do want to promote your subpages. I've noticed it helps big time getting links to some of your subpages. Let's um, let's work on doing that on your websites, guys. Get some good quality content. Put at least 400 words or so on each subpage, and then get some links to them. And within your URLs, put key terms. For example, on our site, you're going to notice that um, we have a web page called like best website design what you're gonna do you're gonna put those key terms in your URL this is big you'll notice almost any site that comes up high is gonna have best website design in their URLs best web best designed web design best web design web design design see check that out it's it's a big thing to pay attention to link popularity compared to your competition if you guys are trying to come up number one under make money or automotive or insurance you need to lower your focus to key phrases and that sort of thing because the top pages under those major terms have literally hundreds of thousands or millions of quality links pointing to their site um, so start small and then move up bigger once your site starts doing better you guys keyword use and page content you want to research out keywords and then you want to implement them into your site I use Google AdWords keyword tool so say we're trying to build up our web development page and find out more terms to focus on for our website I would type in web development here and then get keyword ideas I'm going to arrange it by search volume to see what's being searched for most you're going to notice here web development 450,000 times per month website development 60,000 web s software development 49,500 this is going to give you a big breakdown and get very in depth as to what's being searched for so we can grab these terms and we can start putting them in our web development page web design development web application development don't make it too, look too weird you want to incorporate it make it smooth into your page but this is also good to pay attention to when creating your titles and stuff like that um, you don't need to, sp to spam the crap out of these words when you put them into your page. Just kind of sprinkle them lightly onto your page. One particular term shouldn't really be used more than three or three times on a page unless you have a lot of content on that page. How popular sites are that link to you. Now, when, when obtaining links from other sites, something that's a major factor is getting links from quality and relevant sites. That's huge. But then also getting links from sites that are popular is a big deal too if you get a link from a really popular site you're the only outbound link on that page and it's also relevant to your content that links gold that links probably worth hundreds of small uh, you know more time consuming links and uh, lastly tools to utilize for your benefit I love Google AdWords uh, keyword tool there's also keyworddiscovery.com and some other things there's a couple of different tools that can definitely help you out. I also like a new program I just started using, SEO Spyglass. Pretty neat tool. Lets you learn a lot about your competition. Gets you ahead in the game. Uh, other than that, hopefully uh, you guys watch some of our other videos. And, uh, and we can help you guys out to give you some good tips. And uh, if you ever need anybody that's looking for um, search optimization or something like that, keep dataflurry.com in mind. Thanks, guys. Bye.